Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Let's Get Swarmed by Silverfish show. <laughs> I am your host, Slick Wang. And this is the easiest way, I think, to get blocks mined. <laughs> this is just crazy. When they start coming out and you've found kind of a, a kind of an area where you think there's a bunch of them, just start punching them. Um, have good armor, though, because you will die. This is like the fourth time I've done this. It just... It's huge. I don't even know how many are here. This is crazy. <laughs> Let me clean this up. We'll do a real intro. Welcome back to the Let's Dig a Hole show. I'm your host, Slick Wang. <laughs> Ugh, I'm tired of digging holes. Look at this. This is huge. Huge! This is what we've dug out. And uh, I'm going to show you that, that little uh, silverfish thing I was doing. Found some silverfish. I'm like, okay, I know your guys' game. I punch you. And then all the rest of them will pop out. And I'm like, yeah, cool. We cleared them out. And then I ran into one or two over here. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's just finish this up. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. And before I knew it, they were just everywhere. I'm, I'm taking you back into this area. This is not a cave. Well, I mean, it's a cave now, but this was solid. This is all silverfish. All of this. Um, I probably mined one or two blocks just to get through navigationally, uh, but this is all silverfish. All of it. Every one of these blocks. Uh, so, yeah. If... If you have the armor and stuff to uh, to do that, it's a great way to clear out a whole buttload of silverfish. Uh, you just start punching them. Ooh, we one shotting right now. Boom. one shotting with our sword. I love it. Love it. Uh, I don't really know why, though. That's kind of cool. Um, so here's, here's what we've got going on. Um, and in fact, it's nighttime, so this would be a perfect time. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. Literally all I'm doing is I'm just carving out that section. Um, I will probably... I think what I want to do... Because this thing... There is a fly in here that is so distracting. Oh my god. I wish I could punch you in the face. Oh man. He's huge. And he's just dumb as hell. He's just like, oh hey. I'm going to bump into your forehead. Hi. How are you? Um, so yeah, that'll, that'll all wrap around, and I kind of feel like I want it to go all the way over to here, um, probably like to this, and I don't think I'm going to just do the whole carve-out thing, I think here I'm going to probably, um, build out, maybe, I don't know, um, so hey, it'll look pretty cool. We're going to mix up some textures and things. I was putting cobblestone just to lay out. I like these pillars and how they look. Um, so we'll, we'll, get it, we'll get it figured out. Uh, right now, I have two challenges that I'm, I'm struggling with right now. Um, one, I think this is where I want to lay out my machines. I think. Um, I don't know. I'm still planning. See, I th I think this is where I would want to put my like my ore processing, you know, so our mechanism or tripling um, setup. I might want to put that here as well as a couple other things. I think. Um, I thought about doing the blast furnace, um, but that's that's a big structure just to make steel. And really, we can make it with just a little shapeless crafting and then uh, throwing that steel dust into a regular old furnace. So, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to. Uh, so, that's challenge number one. Challenge number two, I'm trying to figure out what materials I want. Um, we want to maintain this view because this view is incredible. And I'm probably, I think, over here. I'm going to build out a little balcony, I think, so we can we can go out and, you know, sip on coffee or something while we while we stare out over the forest. Beautiful. Um so that's the challenges we have. 
And, you know, I kind of feel like I want to dig this one more down. Uh, I might be stupid. I'm going to do it. I'll see you in a second. Well, it was a long night. A very long night. Found another patch of silverfish, so that was fun. Um, and we were swarmed by zombies, so it's just it's just taking a bunch of time. So you know what? This episode uh, it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a talking episode um, because you know what? It's been a little bit since we've done one of those, and I kind of feel like uh, maybe we need to talk. We might need to. Um, and the big thing on my mind right now, anyway, uh, is baby time coming. Baby time cometh for sure. Um, we are, what is it now, July 21st or something like that. Um, baby's due in almost exactly a month. And the fun thing with babies, they kind of come when they feel like coming. Um, so it, it could be two weeks from now. It could be a week from now, actually. Um, in theory, yeah, it could be, it could be a week from now. Um, and all things would be normal. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I am super excited uh, for this baby to get here. I just absolutely can't wait. Um, I, you know, I'm one of those people, I love kids. Um, I always have. Even when I was young, even when I was like, you know, I don't know, I'm going to say like 14, 15, I knew that I wanted to have kids. Um and when I was, I'm going to say, 18, 19-ish, I knew that I was supposed to have a girl. Um, and so my son was my firstborn. And uh, I just, I knew, you know what, i got to have another one. I'm supposed to have a girl. Just just knew it, you know. Just, uh, just knew it with every fiber of my being. I am supposed to have a daughter at some point. Uh, not really sure why. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, um, we haven't ever really had girls in my family. It's just a bunch of boys. I grew up with two brothers. Um, and I, I think out of all my cousins, I really just had one girl cousin. Um, so I, I kind of, I don't know, maybe that had something to do with it. But uh, I think the other part, girls will need their dads forever, okay? A, a girl be 40 years old, um, you know, and, and have something happen, and, and she going to go to dad. Um, this is a fact, a total fact. Um, and I actually, I saw a B-double-O. Um, if you're not watching B-double-O, well, I don't know why the hell you're watching me. Um he just had uh, he just had his daughter, so that's super super exciting for him. Um, I'm I'm very happy for him. Um, that was that was one of the things that actually drew me to his channel. Is uh, it's not he's not just a, a video game dude. He's he's a real guy. You know what I mean? And he shares his life and um, talks about things going on in his life and. You know that to me has some appeal, and, and hopefully that has some appeal to you too, because that's kind of how I want to run my channel. Um, you know, I want to do like a little vlog thing and all that kind of stuff on here. Um, wall this thing off. Um, so that's kind of what's on my mind is is baby time. I am just super excited. Um, when we had my son. It was it was kind of interesting. We went. It was much different than what I kind of expected expected it to be, um, because we went. Um, you know, women talk about. You know, oh, I was in labor for 14 hours and and this that and the other. Uh, with my lady, we we were out actually having lunch. And she had, she was like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna eat anymore. My, my stomach feels a little weird. And I knew it was about time for baby to happen. <clears throat> um, so I said, babe, I bet you're having some contractions right now. Eh, I don't know. So I went ahead and I called the midwife. Um, and yes, before I go any, f oh, dang it, before I go any further, 
we are those kooks that we're going to have our baby in a birthing center, au natural. Um, that was how my son was born. It's it's how I want to do it. I won't go too much into that. If you guys are interested in my in my thoughts on that, I I'll share them. Um, it's kind of weird how that conversation can go with other people. Um, how how you choose to to birth your children can be almost as heated a topic as like religion. You know what I mean? It's 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 crazy the way people get. Um, sometimes when you tell them, oh, you know, natural birth, oh, childbirth in the hospital, and um, yeah, it's oh man, um, absolutely crazy. So unless you guys are interested in that. I won't go too much more into it. Uh, I will say it was a very enjoyable experience. Uh, my son came out healthy as can be. Um, and you know what? At the end of the day, what more can you really ask for? Um, where did that come from? Hmm. Interesting. We'll put him in there. Um, yes. Okay. Now that now that we've gone, we've got a four high. I like it. I like it a lot more. Yes. This is good. Um, actually, I guess I really have to dig out one more because we need a flooring material. Oh, I'm so tired of digging. We might need to go do, uh, <laughs> go do a dungeon or something and just, like, kill some dudes to break, <laughs> take a break between, uh, diggings. Um, so baby time coming. Um, I, when that happens, um, you guys tell me, down in the comments, you guys tell me, um, if you would like to see, um, some video of like, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to videotape baby coming out and put it on YouTube. Okay. Uh, but I can, I can kind of do like vlog updates and, uh, you know what? Maybe that'll be, maybe that'll be my, uh, my break into vlogs. Well guys, that is unfortunately all the time we have left for today. Um, so kind of a talking episode. I, I hope you guys like that because uh, I'm going to do them. I'm going to do talking episodes. That's that's kind of uh, where my channel is going to go because, well, you know what? Nothing's really changed. That was that was something I wanted to do from the get go. It just seemed like we've we've always had uh, we've always had projects and stuff to talk about, and I've been trying to teach you guys things. Um, but because I don't live stream just yet, see, ideally, I think I would live stream stuff like this, where it's just it's just grindy, dig a hole and and dig a hole and dig a hole, um, and then we could we could hang out and and talk there. And, and you guys could talk with me, and I can talk with you, and it'd be a good time. Um, and one day, I, I want to get to that point. Uh, but working stream time into my schedule is difficult. Uh, unless you guys want to get up at about 4.30 in the morning with me. Um, it's not streaming. Not streaming yet, because I, I don't have time in the evenings. So, uh, all in all, I wanted to get further, but... It is what it is. I mean, we we dug a lot of stuff out. This is this is a lot of digging. So I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a fairly successful day. Um, yeah, about two hours. Two hours worth of digging. So that's where we're at. I will uh, I will play around between now and next episode uh, with getting a power source. I have a couple of ideas, one using lava, but I don't know if I want to do the lava one. I don't know how much I like lava. It's noisy, and it just, uh, yeah, dangerous. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'll play around with this. We'll see if we can figure out what we want to do as far as, uh, as, far as a machine set up over here and, and how we want that to go. Um, maybe our first project is to get our ore set up rocking and rolling again. Um, but until then, like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And uh, let me know if you guys want to want to see some uh, some baby vlog stuff as as time starts getting closer and closer. 
I have much wisdom when it comes to baby stuff. Probably one of more educated males when it comes to childbirthing out there. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode.